do you have what it takes to buddy fight? Choose your favorite world and use special cards to summon its powerful monsters into reality. Challenge other fighters and buddy call your toughest ally to fight by your side. Get ready to raise the flag! You know I'll never join you. Give it up, coach. Cut your ties with disaster. The decks you build are too supportive of their fighters. Huh? You're confused. People should not use decks. Decks should use people. Decks should use people? <sighs> no way. I won't agree to that. Hmm. I guess the next time we meet, we'll be enemies. Attack me, do you? You're my buddy! We're on the same side! Wake up! Your lame excuse for a buddy has now become my very own puppet of destruction! <laughs> oh, Darkest, don't do it! <laughs> Game over. Winner, Magoroku Shida. I told you my son would be able to deliver. <laughs> Ah! Unleash slow pain fall. Game over. Winner, Davida Yamazaki. How my life boys dropped to zero so fast, huh? Because I'm just too strong for you, criminal fighter. <laughs> In the second elimination match of the very first round, the ruthless Team Darkness Masterminds has just defeated Team Three Brothers Kanmei. The crowd is in an uproar, but it sure doesn't sound like a celebration. We go now inside the stadium for an update from Haruko Nanana. Thanks, Miss Hanada. I'm here live at the Ivo Academy fighting stage. As you can probably tell by the murmuring in the crowd, the collective mood here is one of outrage and disbelief. Everyone's cranky about Team Darkness Masterminds and their use of cards from Darkness Dragon World. Some are calling for their disqualification. Why are these fighters allowed to be using Darkness Dragon World when Earth doesn't even have any intel on it? <laughs> we demand an explanation from the buddy card office. As this was your idea, I think it would be best for you to respond. I'll do it. <sighs> Attack of Team Purgatory! Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your concern. It's very touching. But please, don't worry. Earth and Darkness Dragon World have recently established a diplomatic agreement. 
We were waiting until today to tell everyone the big news. Isn't that right, Examiner Shido? Yes, indeed. We wanted to surprise you all. We have several other surprises in store for you during the tournament. Our goal is to make this first Gaian Cup a memorable one. I guarantee by the end, you'll love buddy fighting more than ever. Now, what do you think about that? Amazing! Only Kyuya Gaian could keep a secret of this magnitude under wraps. With all he's done to help mankind, it's no wonder he's just been voted most incredible person on Earth for the third year in a row. Even I'm a little starstruck in his presence. Big deal, yo. Take away his name, his bling, and his crew, and what do you got? The way Peruko keeps going on makes him sound like some kind of superhero. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you just need to be a girl to understand these things. I'll never understand them. It's like they're from another planet or something. Nin. I want to be just like him. Nin? He's the coolest guy ever. Nah. Uh. We have dragons like him back on my world. We need to find a way to expose him. Mm-hmm. Wake up, Call. You guys didn't already forget. Come on, the dangerous investigation? You said to leave it all up to you. But between us buddy monsters, it doesn't look like you're doing any real investigating at all. I mean, what have you found out so far, hmm? <sighs> Word, just in time. I couldn't find anything. And you? Well, it's, you know, like, again. Hmm. Oh, my bad. I forgot about the other Osmodis running around. Must be handy. No doubt! Yo, you got any clues so far? Hmm. So, why don't you become one of us? What? Darkness Dragon World has some... I may have some leads, but it's too soon to tell. Better pick it up then, yo. It's time to announce the next two teams in the third bracket of the first round! Team Sengoku Academy. Team Purgatory. Team Purgatory? That's strange. My competitor list doesn't seem to have those fighters' names. So I have no idea who's actually even on this team. Hmm. You won't play with Purgatory Knight? That's right. I understand. But just so I'm clear, you're refusing to honor a direct request from me? No, not exactly. What then? I want to know his identity. Huh? <laughs> Please forgive me. It's just that I can't believe that's why you're so upset. Why don't you just ask him his identity yourself? What? Kiyoya, what in the world are you planning to do? <laughs> What's wrong, Cerberus? We should get going now. Our fight's up next. The order will be me first, you second, and if needed, Purgatory Knight will fight last. Tell me, Sophia, do you know who he is? And you don't have any reservations about teaming up with a complete stranger. Everything will go according to Master Kyoya's wishes. I hope so. It's not part of my code to accept mysteries. I don't care what your name is. But one way or another, you're gonna show me your face! Hold a piercing spear! Stop that at once! What's happening? Wait for me! <laughs> Purgatory Sword! Activate! Master Kyoya won't like this. He gave me permission to do this. I have to see if he's got what it takes to fight alongside me. Think of it as a little test, that's all. Hey, are you alright? <sighs> What's with the guy in the suit? This isn't the time or the place for this. Come on, they're expecting us on the stage. Get back here! Bruga! What do you want? I've gotta know! 
just what are you disaster guys trying to pull here? And what exactly is Kyoya up to in this tournament? Do you think I'm just gonna roll over and tell you everything, Mikado? I have no idea! But you did help me when we were back in the mine. The Grim Reaper went this way. You fool! Ugh. But last time you told me where I could find Kiri! I thought maybe it was because you decided that you were one of my friends too. You're my rival. And I told you already, I have no need for friends. <gasps> Why? What's wrong with you? I get the feeling that maybe the word friend means something different to that guy than it does to us. Yeah. I think I kinda get it. We meet again, Gao. Huh? Under very different circumstances. Hey, look who came all the way from Sengoku Academy! You missed me that much, huh? Yeah, you know it. Kana Hebi. It's official, my friend. I'm definitely reviving the Kana Hebi style ninjas. Hmm. But how? Well, it's not gonna be as a criminal organization. It's a new kind of heavy style. <laughs> that was your dream. Good memory. <sighs> Watch out! This time I won't lose! Yeah, me neither. In fact, I intend to show you my true strength, Gal. You inspired me to do a lot more training. Uh, I don't know. You were already a pretty strong fighter when we met. As you said, if I was strong enough, I wouldn't have given in to the temptation of the Dark Core deck case. Yeah, well, we all make mistakes. The important thing is that you learned you don't need the Dark Core. Indeed. Is that Immortal Sword Durandal? I must say I was surprised to learn that Mr. Aragami will be one of our first opponents. Me too. He'll be majorly tough to beat. Yeah. <laughs> Game over. Winner, Sofia Sakharov. This is completely unbelievable. The great ninja Kanahebi was barely able to make a single move. Oh, she's strong. But he's good. Way better than he was before. How'd she defeat him so easily? Who would have thunk it? In a surprising turn of events, the former vice president of Ivo Academy's middle school is one top-notch Fighter. She gives a whole new meaning to the phrase girl power! Hmm. Next up from Team Purgatory, a friendly foe and former student of Sengoku Academy, the formidable Rouga Aragami! It's gonna be a tough one for our team from Senkad. They need to win both of their next two matches to move on. Representing them is the oh-so-powerful competitor Shosetsu Kirisame. Let's see how this plays out! Hmm? What's got his attention? Kiyoya, I wish I knew what you were up to. You ready? <sighs> Let's do this. I've been waiting a long time for this. The power of the Ace will destroy you! Dark Luminize! Ace defeat! <sighs> a thousand swords! Defeating the enemy with a thousand vows! Luminize! Fortress of Swords! Okay, everybody, say it with me! Buddy! Time, Time to, to raise, raise the flag! flag. Danger World! Ah! I fight for Legend World! Up first is the infamously fierce Ruga! Charge and draw! I pay one gauge and equip! Explosive Axe Reek do Demon Slay! Is it me or do you seem worried about something? Don't be ridiculous, your mind games won't work on me! Huh? End of move. That's what you think. I wonder what Kyoya would do if I went against his wishes. Wake up! This is no time to get distracted! Hmm. I call to the right knights of the round table, King Arthur! 
And to the left, Great Magician Merlin. Let's see how Kirisame deals with the pressure cooker his team is in. I equip Immortal Sword, Durandal. King Arthur, Merlin, do a link attack on the fighter. Go forth! Yes, sire! A cast, battle, or a circle! Oh, oh man! How'd he do that? The power of the card became real! Did you see that, Dad? The spell came right out of the card! This is impossible. How on earth can this be happening? Question for you. <gasps> Do you really think it's safe to continue the game in this manner? Yes, of course. We have everything under control. Oh, really? If another spell bursts out of a card, then there could be real consequences, and you'll be held responsible. Mm. We haven't had the pleasure. It's Mr. Negi no Yama, isn't it? You're quite correct, and your concerns are valid. However, there is another surprise that I've prepared for the fans. Please take a closer look at Mr. Aragami's core gadget. Mm. It's called a dark core deck case. My applied sciences division at the Gan Financial Group developed it. I was led to believe that any and all core deck cases are issued directly from the buddy card office. Exceptions can be made, and this was done with our official approval. Just what made you decide to develop such a thing? Progress is often misunderstood. Did you hear that? You're aware that sometimes buddy fight cards connect to parallel worlds and cause monsters to appear here on Earth. Yes, of course, but... Then you'll also know that the mechanism behind this phenomenon is shrouded in mystery. My company was researching this very thing when by accident we discovered that spell and item cards can also connect to parallel worlds. And in an effort to materialize these things at will, we developed the Dark Core. As you've just witnessed, it has unbelievable effects. But don't take it from me. Let the people decide. <laughs> oh, so you're saying that by using those things, anyone can cast spells into reality? We're not sure. We're currently asking several fighters to use dark core deck cases in an experiment of sorts. As you know, casting spells into reality is not against the rules of the game. However, having just one player in a match able to wield such power would obviously be an unfair advantage. That's why... He's here. You agree not to use the dark power again in this match? You got it, boss. <sighs> now then, let's resume the fight. Alright! After a brief but exhilarating break, it's time to get back to the action! Let's go, Durandal! Alright! Uh... Ah! Ah! End of move! <sighs> You've improved since last time. He's one smooth operator. What are you talking about, yo? I don't think what just happened was actually planned. Why do you say that? Just a hunch, but I think for some reason, Roga was unable to control that dark power of his, and that spell card accidentally activated. Guess you could say he's playing with fire. Oh! Being the quick thinker that he is, Kyoya made up a convincing story on the fly. Out of doom! I will rise again! <laughs> Equipment change! Divine protection, Pridwen! That item card allows a player to pay two gauge and reduce their damage by two points. <laughs> Hey, Roluga looks almost as mad as you did when I ate your last pudding. Yeah, right. It does seem like he's kind of worried, though. Roluga's wiped out all of Kirisame's monsters! That Thunder Devastation spell kicks. It destroys all monsters with 5,000 defense or less, yo. Nothing can even touch that guy's vibe. His focus is so crazy. <laughs> End of move. Your move. Kirisame has only two life points remaining. This could be his last chance. I call Galahad to the left and Percival to the right. 
I discard the Holy Grail card from my hand and equipment change. I return Pridwin to my hand and... Who dares to pronounce himself worthy of my blade? I have chosen. I acknowledge thee as my master, Shosetsu Kirisame. Now, equip the sword of the king, Excalibur! I will use this mighty ancient sword to fight you with all of my strength! Not bad. That item has double attack. Groga has ten life left, but it's too late. Don't you think? Not at all. He can cut that down in one turn. And his opponent's not done yet! <laughs> that takes him down to just two life points! And for those who don't know, Excalibur has... Double attack! I cast Battle Aura Circle! I neutralize the attack! <laughs> End of move. Kill your gun! Huh? He is your master, isn't he? No, you're wrong. Kyoya is just a friend. I answer to no one. Did he say friend? I think you're lying. How dare you say that? Back when I was concerned only with strength and becoming all powerful, you were... Well, you seem to have an unexplainable power, far greater than anyone else's. I was naive to admire you the way that I did, because now... <clears throat> now it's clear that you're just someone living in fear of his master. You've got a lot of nerve, Shosetsu! But the reason for your fear escapes me. Could it be that you're afraid of having it all taken away from you? That's enough! Don't you know that power isn't something that someone gives to you? It's something you must grasp for yourself. This Sword of the King taught me that. Take it from me, you can free yourself from his control. I said that's enough! <gasps> huh? Not again! But this time it was an item card attack. <laughs> Game over. Winner, Rohuga Aragami. That seals it. It might seem unfair, but as our tournament sponsor pointed out, this new dark power isn't against the rules. Rohuga's explosive axe, Rikdo Demon Slay attack, has knocked Team Sengoku Academy out of the tournament, meaning Team Purgatory moves on to the second round. What have I done? It's time for Tsuko and Gao's Card of the Day! Today we're talking about Explosive Axe Rikdo Demon Slay. It's got 6,000 power and three critical. When you use it, you can't call a monster to your center position. But that doesn't matter, man. Who needs an open center when you've got the Gao formation, am I right? It's a card that's a perfect fit for any Danger World player. Yeah, where power and strength are totally where it's at. So what do you think, guys? You think you can open up one of these? You'll, You'll never, never know until you try! try.
Next time, Team Seifukai fights Team Destiny in the final match of the first round. But who's this guy fighting Genma? He looks kind of familiar to me. Next episode, the Tiger returns. Join us for a buddy fight.